primary, the Republican hopefuls took to the stage last night to make sure that uh, they are number one in voters' minds. But there's some criticism over the moderator's questions. Santorum has been very clear in his belief that the Supreme Court was wrong when it decided that a right to privacy was embedded in the Constitution. And following from that, he believes that states have the right to ban contraception. Now, I should add that he said he's not recommending no, that I states do that. Again, well, I'll, I'll be clear. Okay. Uh, absolutely. I'm, I'm giving you your due. We're talking about 10th Amendment and the right of states But I do to want to get to that core okay. question. Governor Romney, do you believe that states have the right to ban contraception, or is that trumped by a constitutional right to privacy? Uh, George, this is an unusual uh, topic that you're raising. But states have a right to ban contraception. I can't imagine a state banning contraception. Joining us now is Mark Thiessen. He is a columnist and former speechwriter for President George W. Bush. He looks amused. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Were you throwing things at your TV last night, Mark? <laughs> that was ABC News was just unbelievable. I mean, we, we're at war and we're at war in Afghanistan. The economy is in the tank. Iran is building a nuclear weapon and they spend half the debate talking about contraception and gay marriage. Uh, not a question about the debt, not a question about entitlements, not a question about Obamacare. But, uh, you know, it's all it's all contraception for ABC News. So, Mark, what do you think was the idea there? What was the point of all that? Uh, Beats me. <laughs> I think maybe ABC News, ABC News wants to uh, portray Republicans as hating women and gays. Uh, is basically all I can come up with. Look, so, it, it, it's just, it's just, it was one of the worst debates we've had uh, in terms of the questioning. And I think if you watch, if you were following Twitter last night, uh, there was a pretty clear consensus on that. Okay, so, so you don't give the moderators high marks, but what about the candidates? No. Who did you think um, was the winner and the loser? I, th I think Mitt Romney, with, uh, without a doubt, was the winner. Look, uh, unless it was in Mandarin and we didn't understand it, no one touched it, laid a finger on the guy. I mean, you know, Paul called Gingrich a draft dodger. Gingrich called Paul a liar. Perry attacked uh, Paul over his earmarks. Uh, say, uh, per uh, Paul attacked Santorum. And, and Romney just sat there and smiled. And every time they came to him, he said, all these guys would be better than Obama. And Obama's the problem and turned it on Obama. And even took a page out of Gingrich's playbook and, and attacked the media when they in that exchange with Stephanopoulos. So look, he's, he's the lead, in the lead. According to the polls, he's pulling away right. uh, from the rest of the pack. So unless somebody brings him down or he stumbles in some way, he wins. It looks like he may be the first candidate ever to take Iowa, New Hampshire, and South Carolina, albeit Iowa, by eight Absolutely. points. But, you know, Ron Paul, he, he went after Newt Gingrich. He went after Rick Santorum. Has, he, has Ron Paul just said, okay, Mitt's the head guy. If I can just come in second, maybe I got a chance in South Carolina. What was the point of that? Nobody really went after Mitt Romney. Yeah, I, it was actually uh, surprising to me. I mean, look, I think most of the candidates, except Ron Paul, did pretty well. I think Santorum had a very good night. Uh, he handled his, his first night as the official pinata of the Republican Party very well. He took the, some blows and landed some. Perry had a very good night as well. Uh, but it doesn't matter if they have a good night because Romney is position right now to run away with this nomination. Yeah. He could have this thing locked up by January 31st. If he wins, if he wins Iowa, uh, New Hampshire and South Carolina going into Florida, Florida. he'll be almost unstoppable. And, and speaking of which, and we only have a couple of seconds left, Mark, um, sure. did anything last night, was it a game changer for what's going to happen in South Carolina? I don't think there was. No, I think they needed to bring down Mitt Romney going into South Carolina or have him stumble or yeah. something like, of that effect. And it didn't happen. Mark, thank you. Thanks. Mark. All right. Thank you. Still ahead, did the White House leak top secret information about the raid that killed Osama bin Laden to Hollywood filmmakers? Congressman Peter King is here to talk about that one.